Shalom, shalom to the family. Street baptism back with some more beautiful knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we believe comes directly from the Father through His Son, Hamashiach Yahushai, um, or Yeshua, Yahusha, whatever pronunciation somebody decides to utilize. Um, much love to the family, trying to follow His footsteps in truth and sincerity, um, according to humility. Um, again, praise the Father, praise the Father. Forgive me for the music in the back if it's too loud, but I am playing it for the vibes. So we we'll get straight into it. Here is another video concerning the fundamentals or the basics of the Hebrew characters. Um, these videos aren't too long. They haven't been too long. We're about to get straight into it with the six character equivalent to the number six. As we learned that every Hebrew character has a numeric equivalent. Aleph being one, Bait being two, Gemel being three, etc., all the way up until the one that we have now, um, six, which is the Wav or the Vav. Some people call it Vav or pronounce it Vav, V-A-V. -V. Um, but the uh, cor correct pronunciation for this character, historically, linguistically, would be Wav. And that's uh, proven one way is because when you look at the Greek Omega, the lowercase Omega looks like a W because the Wa and the U and the um, O these sounds uh, as well as the uh, the look of the character are related when you look into languages of antiquity. Another way to prove that this character is wow and not vav um, is when you look at the Latin. The Latin V is not V, it's W. Praise the Father. Th these uh, uh, means of proof amongst other means of proof prove that this uh, character is wow. But if somebody pronounce, pronounces it vav, it doesn't really matter as long as you understand what the character is and what it means. Praise God. So here we have the wav. This is what it looks like. Here's the Aramaic. Sometimes it's just a straight line like we see here on the right. Here's a wow. Here it is. And now let's go look at the paleo wow. As we see in this list already, the wow. Praise the father. Wow. Here is a vav. But the pictograph for it is a tent peg. Praise the Father. It's a tent peg for the tent, which is the bait. Um, and the door for that tent is the dialect. Praise the Father. So we got the tent, the numeric equivalent for it, or the, uh, the tent peg, the numeric equivalent for it being six. Let's look at what else we have here. Here we have the wow again. And as y'all can see right here, praise the Father. I didn't make that up. Wow or Vav. Praise the Father. Um, numeric equivalent. Here it is again at the top here. Vav or wow, which is a nail or it means to secure something because that's what the nail does uh, when you deal with tents and establishing a tent. Um, it says to add or and because this is also a conjunction. It's equivalent to the English word and whether you spell it A-N-D or you use one of the various symbols for and it represents adding and it comes from the Hebrew word odd, which means to continue something. But we'll get into that later because as you add something or you say and you're adding something or you're continuing a thought or whatever it is you're speaking about praise the father here we go again here we go again with another wow and as y'all can see here praise the father for proof here is spelled u a u because really a w in english is two v's and that's related to the v or the w or w like just like when you're saying you it ends with a W or a W sound, just like O. It ends with a O or a W sound. Um, praise the Father. So this is what the tent peg means. It represents security, securing something. And as we uh, take these characters, the fundamentals of them, and use them practically in real life, um, find a tent peg in your life or be the tent peg. Hold on, my fault, y'all. Find a tent peg or be the tent peg. One who can provide security to others or one who is secure in the father there's many ways to look at this hebrew character but again the numeric equivalent for it is six as we see five four three two and one praise the father so um next time we come on here we'll be um dealing with the um the zayin the zayin character which is uh equivalent to the number seven being the seventh character or the hebrew character list um praise the father hopefully this was very helpful and we're gonna keep going if the most high allows street baptism out. Shalom, shalom.